Mongolia is a landlocked country in the Northeast Asia bordering China and Russia. The total territory of the country is 1.5 million square kilometers and 18th largest country in the world with a population of 3 million people. The official language is Mongolian. Today, Mongolians using the Cyrillic alphabet and Mongolian script. Russian is the most frequently spoken la foreign language in Mongolia, followed by English. Although, English has been gradually replacing Russian language. Main religion is Buddhism. Buddhism began to enter into Mongolia from Tibet the second half of the 16th century. But Mongolian Buddhism is different from Tibetan Buddhism. Mongolian Buddhism connected with Mongolian traditional style. Since that time, mostly Mongolians believe Buddhism. By now, 90% of the whole population are Buddhist. The rest are Muslims, Shamanists, and Christians. The Ger is the Mongolian traditional dwelling of the nomads in Mongolia. It is tent-like structure made from a wooden frame and covered by wool felt. A traditional gear is very easy to collapse and assemble again, and it can be transported on no more than three animals. Traditional clothing of Mongolians is Dao. It has rich history spanning many centuries. It is closely connected with the Mongolian way of life and the country commonly worn since centuries ago among the Mongolians and can be made from cotton, silk, wool, or brocade. The costumes are used in different situations, such as riding on a horseback, or the steppe, or dance at the national festival. The Mongolian cousin is not one of the cousins that is known worldwide. Most of the Mongolian dishes are based on mutton, yak milk, and even horse milk. The mutton is either boiled, filled with various ingredients, stewed, cooked with oil and flour, or prepared with noodles. Dairy products in Mongolia food variety differ greatly in terms of their taste. These products are called tsahangite and include a lot of milk. First one, arol. It is believed by experts that this food item is the reason behind the strong teeth of Mongolian people. It is curdled milk that is dehydrated and dry. The great thing about this food item is that it never goes bad. Second, Erek, the national drink of Mongolia. This is primarily made during summers in Mongolia, especially in the rural regions. The drinks is also popularly served during weddings, festivals, and other special events. It has alcohol content of about 7%. Some Mongolian people are known to consume about 3 liters in just one go. The main national festival is Natam, which has been organized for centuries and takes place over 3 days in the summer consists of three Mongolian traditional sports archery, horse racing, or long stretches of open country not the short racing round, track practice in the west and wrestling, traditionally recognized as the three mainly games of Natam. Game Mongolian traditional games can be divided into two general types on the basis of their general form Games which are played using simple and readily available materials such as stones, sticks, or animal bones, and games which are played using objects created by the artistic means, namely with painted or carved pieces. The most unique Mongolian game is Shaga, or you can say ankle bones, which as the name suggests is played using the cleaned and polished ankle bones of sheep. Each of the four sides of the ankle bone represents a different animal, horse, sheep, camel, and goat. Although, there are many games which can be played with the bones. In the earlier times, families which managed to collect more ankle bones than they needed 
would select an auspicious day and go to play the game of multicolored turtle on the top of a mountain leaving the bones afterwards as an offering to the mountain or to the sky. This game is played with a number of bones corresponding to one of the auspicious number in the Buddhist faith, most often 81 or 108. Homi Homi is a very specialized type of traditional music, and the musical instrument is actually different types of sound made by a person, using his throat and lung energy together with some background music. And next, the instrument is horsehead fiddle. The most famous musical instrument is the horsehead fiddle, which looks like a cello. You'll get to see this instrument during the musical performance, and you can even buy it as a senior if you want. In Fiji's some historical site, Mongolians were hierarchy. For example, until the late 12th century, the Mongols were a fragmented group of warring clans. In 1162, a Mongol named Temujin was born who eventually became the leader of the Boris Mongol clan. After 20 years of warfare, he united most of Mongol clans and given the honorary title Genghis Khan that means universal king in 1206. The unparalleled conquest of the Mongol under Genghis Khan enabled them to expand their empire far beyond their own territories in Asia. Even nowadays there are some position hierarchy came up in some working area. For example, High position people are arrogant with low position workers. Visiting their great grandparents, meeting with their relatives, having a group meeting with friends make Mongolians more group oriented people. Furthermore, in countryside, they visit each other to share daily news even in ordinary days. On the other hand, in some other aspects, Mongolians are individual people. Mongolians are facing with some problems in teamwork or in group sports. In working place or in school life, they first try to know each other. Then they are going to next step, which is focusing on the project or work together. This makes more efficient, so Mongolians are more close to relationships. Risk and cautious mostly depends on people. How did they grow up from child? What personality they learn? The Mongolians are unconstrained and warm-hearted people as they treat others warmly and politely. They greet everyone in every situation even they do not know each other. One of the most salient characteristics of the Mongols was a strict sense of honor and loyalty and respect for these qualities in others, even opponents. This characteristic makes Mongolian more direct. Mongolians are multi-active people and it has a strong correlation with the dialogue-oriented culture. Mongolian people would like to use their personal relations to solve the problem or get some information. Especially, since they have a very strong relationship with their family and friends, they rely on the words of family, school friends, friends of family, teachers, and so on. Therefore, appointments, schedules, genders, even meetings could be unnecessary if they already solve the problem by using this way. For the urbanized, most jobs are in the service sector and many of these jobs have very standard working hours. This gives these people a much more practicable income and regular work hours, setting their daily schedule and way of life to a great degree. 
although ours are oft more predictable, there is a great variation of our working hours, which generally run from about 10 a.m. to sometime between 5 and 8 p.m. On the other hand, in some particular situations, such as meeting with friends, team meeting, most of Mongolian people are does not care about time. They late around 10 to 30 minutes. School sources tend to have regular hours, but the hours vary. In many cities, there are a limited number of schools, so many young or children attend school in the afternoon beginning at about 12.30 p.m. and the older students go to school in the morning from about 8 a.m. to about 1 p.m. Mongolians tend to be very direct. If they like you, you'll know it right away. And the opposite is true as well. It's best to always look people in the eye when speaking to them. This conveys honesty and is in line with the very straightforward manner in which people speak to one another. When children speak to others or someone younger speaks to someone older, it is the custom to refer to the more senior person as older brother or older sister out of respect. Mongols tend to always be very close to one another. During conversation, People's distance from one another relates to how well they know each other. Male friends will of, often place a hand on, on other's shoulders when speaking, for instance. Touching during conversation is not really considered taboo, except what one may call inappropriate touching. Avoid touching people's legs, putting a hand on legs would be rude. And with exception of very small children, you don't see much hand holding even among couples. Overt expression of love through physically not are not really deemed appropriate in public. It's not common to see young couples kissing in public and even hugging for more than a few seconds in consider a bit unusual. Overt Putting your hands near someone's face unless you really love or really hate the other party. In terms of speaking, there is a lot of gesturing and pointing, making dramatic facial expressions. Pride of Mongolians Pride of Mongolians is their history. The ancient conqueror Genghis Khan is known as Genghis Khan in Mongolia. He is still very much alive and respected until today. You can find paintings and carvings of Genghis Khan all around Mongolia. They even have many things named after him such as Genghis Khan Hotel, Genghis Khan Airport, and Genghis Khan Restaurant. Superstitions First, they used to hands or white hand when giving or accepting anything, especially gifts, food, tea, etc. They use both hands, if not use your right hand, but never use left hand. Second, never shoot things or drop things when giving them to someone. Third, they don't walk over threshold because they regard it as the boundary line between this life and eternity. First, they don't talk about unpleasant things to others since it can bring misfortune to them. Stone stupa You can see colorful stupas made from piling up stones at the side of the road when you are traveling across Mongolia. This is of Buddhist significance and it is says that if you walk clockwise around the stupa for 3 rounds, it will bring good luck to you. Also, leaving a personal belonging at the stupa will also, will also bring good luck. Fire They deem fire important because they come from nomadic life. 
fire is sacred for Mongols, and it would be highly offensive to put anything unclean into someone's house. It is good to be environmentally conscious and try to dispose your garbage into the fire. But, but before you do that, you should ask your host if it is fine to throw into the fire. For example, it is okay to put your canned wrapper into the fire, but it is not okay to put the tissue in which you just blew your nose. Common sense. Don't throw keys to anyone. Really don't throw anything to anybody. You throw things to dogs, not to people. When Mongolians stab each other's food, they have to shake hands with each other. If you are right earrings, that means people are talking good things about you. If you are left earrings, that means people are talking poorly about you. Truth. In Mongolia, truth is absolutely honest truth. Mongolians have direct style and show their feelings straightly. Curry favor. High positions people do curry favor, especially Corruption among government employees is prevalent in Mongolian society. Gossip In Mongolian, gossip has both positive and negative connotations. Mostly women like gossip.